meow, 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 meow. Mike's hard. Well, hopefully not for longer than four hours. Dun 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 dun. Hello everyone, welcome to this video. <laughs> Today I'm going to be window shopping an old favorite of mine, which is ASOS. And the reason why I'm returning to ASOS is because I felt a burning desire to take myself to task, to take accountability, if you will. I have been trying over the past couple of years to divest to the best of my abilities from purchasing fast fashion, which includes shopping as a form of recreation, which I think is a reason why people are emotionally tethered to fast fashion that is not talked about enough in sustainable fashion conversations. Shopping is fun. I have been pretty lucky in my secondhand shopping game over the past couple of years, which you would know about if you watched my last video where I bragged about how good I am at thrifting and showed you all of my wonderful secondhand acquisitions. But ASOS is one of two fast fashion stores that I kind of consistently still shop at, that I haven't really been able to break the relationship because I like it. They have pretty dresses. Every like six months or so, I find myself lubered in by ASOS's siren song. It's like it's got me in a tractor meme and it's just pulling me towards its sexy minimalist little British website. And it says, hello, would you like to buy some jumpers? Would you like to buy some pants and trousers? Would you like to buy Marmite? And I say, yes ma'am, God save the queen. And I'm sick and tired of window shopping stores that I don't shop at. I don't buy stuff from Cider. I don't buy stuff from Shein, but I do buy stuff from ASOS. And in fact, I did like two weeks ago. So let's put the egg on my face this time and window shop some stuff from ASOS. Let's get mean, let's get nasty, let's get naughty. Because maybe, just maybe, naughty girls need love too. Dun 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 dun. I'm all excited today. You know why? Because I've got my fancy rings on. And I just ate a bunch of popcorn. Also, I had to give a presentation in my law class last night. And it went well. So I'm very giddy. I'm facing down the end of graduate school. I'll get into it in a second. Really, if I were a good YouTuber, I would put a little timestamp saying when I'm done talking about stuff that's not window shopping. But I want you to watch the whole video. So I get more money. So I'm not going to tell you. I told you this episode was naughty. Gross. I don't like how that felt coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm in my antepenultimate class of my degree which means third to last. I don't like when drinks are too sweet. Good old fashioned Massachusetts tap water. Yes, ma'am. After the class I'm in finishes, I only have two more classes. By August 25th, my school legally has to give me a diploma and I'm gonna hold them to that. Anyway, let's get into window shopping. ASOS, my favorite website on the planet. You already know where we're starting. Women's plus size clothing, yes. Off to an incredible start with this Nancy Reagan wet dream. Pa I can't say wet dream in the first couple of minutes. Also, if it was a Nancy Reagan wet dream, it would be red. But you know what I mean? Like, this is very 80s lady power suit if it fell into, like, a vat of nuclear waste. And you know what? I don't hate it. I've always liked the look of a blazer dress. I've never attempted to actually wear one because anything with that much of a plunge is such a liability for me and my boobs. Sage green is also my favorite color right now. I love sage green. If something is sage green, it catches my eye immediately. I think it's just a very refreshing color. I think it's very chic. I love how it looks. I think it's works better as a basic than people think it does because people hear green and they get scared. They start shaking in their boots. They start lying awake at night, staring at the ceiling, hoping, praying that the color green isn't gonna find them in their beds and slay them where they lie. But I see beyond the fear. And I know that in some tones, green is so sexy and understated and laid back and chic 
S-H-E-E-K, chic. I love to start my series where I'm known for being mean by being nice. I like these pictures because they all make me feel like I'm <laughs> walking amongst beautiful lady giants who are all about to step on me. I'm so glad that people on TikTok don't ask me to step on them as much as they used to. And you know, it's not like it never happens anymore. If I make a TikTok where my voice is a little bit too syrupy, I get people barking in the comments. Oh my God, mommy, please step on me. Mommy, I love you. Mommy, please bend me into a pretzel and eat me like we're at the county fair. I don't like it though. I like to pretend that I'm this like, delicate little quivering ingenue. And when I have people reacting to my voice being deep and my height being tall, like, oh my god, please destroy me. I'm like, I can't destroy you. I'm a delicate little fucking flower. And it's not that I don't think being tall and large is beautiful, but I don't know. I have some things to work through about my own self-perception. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. I promise I will get off of the body stuff in like a half second. I just, you know, I'm having thoughts and feelings and it's, you know, a change of season, so I'm like very aware of my own body at the moment because I'm wearing different clothes and I'm less covered up and I don't have my giant jackets to wear. This shirt and shirts like this with these little tiny cropped sleeves, I hate shirts like this. You know why? Because I'm not confident in my arms. I saw a TikTok the other day where another fat woman was wearing a sleeveless dress and she was like, you're not free until your arms are. You're not free until your arms are, babes. It's about to be 85 degrees today. Please, for the love of God, put the hoodie up. Please, it's time. Be free, babes, be free, be fat. You're not free until your arms are. And I've, I've been thinking about, I say that to myself every time I feel a way about putting on a sleeveless dress and going outside. I'm not free until my arms are. They are literally, literally just arms. Oh, what on earth is this? ASOS Lux, oh my God. Curve gem encrusted mini dress with pearl embellishment and scalloped hem in pink. Yeehaw, oh my God. I would wear this with a cowboy hat to like the CMT awards you know, which I get invited to every year. I think that this is kind of ugly in a great way. I usually don't like a scalloped hem, but I think that this is a very intentional scallop hem. Look at this beading on the bottom. This is beautiful. Oh my God. Wow. This is a stunning piece of work. I love it. I like the little beaded like reproductive system we have outlined here. I think it's very cool. I think it's very scientific. $320, damn. And yet, yeah, it's worth, no, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna buy it, but like, I kinda love it. We got more green, oh my God. These two ladies are on their way to pickle prom. Woo! Oh God, this one has a side cutout. I hate side cutouts. You know why I hate cutout dresses? It's like not even necessarily because I'm insecure about my body. It's because in 2012, my mom bought me a dress from Macy's that had a back cutout. It was this really cute all over print dress that I looked very pretty in if I do say so my freaking self. And then when I started putting on weight towards the end of high school because of hormonal stuff and also just like becoming an adult, I no longer fit into the dress and I had to get rid of it. Um, and so I think I've just had a vendetta against cutout dresses ever since that dress left my wardrobe. Now I don't want anybody to have them because I couldn't have mine. And I think that that is healthy and reasonable. Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn, this love is skin tight. You know what's so weird? I haven't listened to the song Domino by Jessie J since the Obama administration, but anytime there's a lull in anything I'm doing, the ooh, 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 from that song pops into my head. You guys are gonna have to hear me out on my thought process for this next dress. It sounds, it's gonna sound really stupid, but I have a vision for it. This is the ASOS Lux Curve Embellished Gemstone Mini Dress with Faux Feathers with Train in White, okay? Now, unlike the last dress, I think this dress is objectively very stupid looking. Um, I will say this, I will say this. Oh my God, this model is gorgeous. I do think that this dress would work for one purpose only. And that's what I was warning is gonna be pretty stupid. Okay, 
So American history, right? The assassination of John F. Kennedy. We're all familiar. We were all there. Do you remember when Marilyn Monroe sang happy birthday to President John F. Kennedy? Right, 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 right. Remember? To you, happy birthday. Woo! Look at her go. I don't know if you can hear things when I'm recording. Probably not. Probably not at all. But we're all familiar with this moment. We know it, we love it, we've seen it happen. Look at this beautiful glittering dress. God, I love Marilyn Monroe. Imagine, if you will, a reimagining of Kennedy's presidency through the lens, okay, of Christmas, in which Jackie O is Mrs. Claus, Kennedy is Santa Claus, St. Nicholas, Kris Kringle, if you will. And, um, this, his mistress, Marilyn Monroe, allegedly, is wearing this. Everything about it gives this distinctly holiday feeling to me. The first thing I thought when I saw this dress was, oh, this is what I would wear if I wanted to seduce Father Christmas. And then I think just thinking about affairs led me into thinking about JFK. I'm kind of always thinking about JFK a little bit because as I mentioned, I'm from Massachusetts. It's against the law not to always be thinking a little bit about the Kennedys. And so that's how the train of thought left the station. Um, should it have? Probably not. But can't you see it now? Happy birthday, Father Christmas. Finally, another ASOS Lux piece. ASOS Lux Curve Bubble Up Baldo. Mini dress in jacquard. Every day of my life, I've woken up in a cold sweat, gotten to my knees on my bedroom floor, shaking my fists at the heavens, begging, pleading for a dress that makes me look like a half-soaked tampon. And finally, I have it. There's a joke I wanna make about these big sleeves but it's already reserved for a dress we're gonna talk about in a second that I found right before starting filming on this video and I don't wanna make it now because then I can't make it again later. Except for the fact that I can absolutely reuse jokes. And I will. These are not sleeves, these are flotation devices. If you get on an aeroplane wearing this dress, as soon as they start that safety demonstration about where to find your little life jacket with the tube, and the pull tab and the little light that illuminates when it hits the water. You can just stop listening. Matter of fact, you can take your safety card and just rip it in half. I'd say throw it out the window, but if you have the ability to open airplane windows, you're probably not in a very good airline anyway. You're gonna be fine, unless your plane doesn't make a water landing, in which case you might blow up like everyone else. But if your plane is making a water landing in the event of an emergency, you're okay. You don't have to fish around for wherever the fuck your flotation device is. Every single airplane I've ever been on, I fully listened to them tell me where the flotation device is and I've never needed it, thank God. But I always look around my seat and I'm like, yeah, I, 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 this is just a chair to me. I don't know what you're talking about. The only thing in this chair is my ass, okay? <laughs> and brother, <laughs> there's no space for anything else. <laughs> Let the waves try to pull you under. Poseidon himself could slip his wet little ocean fingers around your ankles and try as he might to drag you to the murky depths of his home world. And it's not gonna work because you're not going anywhere because you're wearing this dress. Matter of fact, you might start floating upwards out of the water towards the sky, like your Charlie and his deadbeat grandfather in the little soda tunnel room, fizzy lifting drink area in Willy Wonka slash Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I don't remember what the real name of the book was. Now, if you guys will allow me, I'm gonna get like kind of annoyed about something. This is the ASOS design, so no more Lux. This is for the common people now. This is for you broke bitches, of which I'm including myself. I literally got an overdraft email from my bank this morning. <laughs> this is the ASO Design Curve Oversized Parachute Pants in Iridescent Blue. I want you to pay attention to three words here. Oversized, parachute, and pants. Do you guys see oversized pants? in this image. I don't see oversized pants. I see pants that fit this model 
pretty much perfectly, if a little tightly. What about these just oversized? Parachute pants are supposed to be like big as all get out. These are regular pants that happen to be made of an annoying fabric and taper with a little drawstring at the ankle. You can't be stingy with the fabric when you're making oversized things that are marketed as being oversized for fat and larger people. What size is the model wearing? Oh, cute shoes. Okay. Well, good for them in that respect. The model is wearing a US 14. I don't believe if I were a size 26 and I wanted oversized pants, but I couldn't size up in these pants, that the ones I got in my size would actually be oversized, which is super annoying if you're advertising pants as being oversized. When I think oversized, you know what I think of, girl? I think of Jenkos. What are we talking about anymore? This is what I'm fucking talking about, girl. Yes, you could fit a laptop in these pockets. <laughs> this is what I mean. Until we're in this area, that's not what this is. These are regular pants. Ooh, we're back to ASOS Lux, yay. The ASOS Lux curve embellished cami midi dress with draping jewels in blush. Blush? Who the hell blushes this color, ASOS? The Tin Man? From the Wizard of Oz? Her eyeliner looks spectacular and I love this lip. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Uh, wow, this gloss and lip liner combo is so beautiful on her. Wow. And I don't even, I have nothing bad. I think this dress is like beautiful. I don't know if I told you guys about this. I don't think I told you guys about this. Um, I and my roommate, my roommate and I recently watched all of the show Boardwalk Empire and I love it so much. And it's gotten me like really, really obsessed with the 20s. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of jazz music. I've been researching the post-World War One era in the United States and the Prohibition era, which is like what Four Dog Empire is about. <laughs> I've been reading a book of essays written by 20s era feminists. Um, I'm having a grand old time. And so I feel like if I had a dress like, and like this isn't an overtly 20s style dress, but you know, you get the vibes of it, right? Like it's not historically accurate, but like if you were going to a 20s themed party and you wore this dress, people would be like, oh my God, you look beautiful. They wouldn't be like, um, actually that sort of silhouette is not Historically accurate, you have showed up in anachronism. Hey girl, how are we sitting down? Because the beating is all over. There's a reason why this dress is so expensive. How are we sitting down in this dress with these huge pearls across our bucci? There's a time and a place for beads and the posterior and I don't think it usually involves clothing. I don't know how we really reconcile that, but my God, if this isn't a stunner to look at, look at this, look at her. Oh my God, I bet she feels great in this dress too. And she should. Only thing I will say, I don't, <laughs> the only thing I will say aside from the other thing I said, I actually don't love the big pearls around the bodice area, around the chest. I don't think, I don't know, I feel like it's a little disruptive of the shape. In general, I think the pearls could stand to be a little smaller, but I think this is very pretty. Let me just like lick. Oh my God, how fortuitous. Wow, 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 wow. Much to think about, much to think about. I'm not gonna get it, obviously, but like, also the fact that I could like wear a bra with this dress if I owned it. It's $300. I don't go anywhere I could wear this dress. I go to two places. I go to my house and my job and I come back. It's literally ridiculous to even entertain the notion of purchasing this dress. And yet I am entertaining it. I am entertaining the notion. I am putting out a plate of cheese and <laughs> cured meats for the notion. I am asking the notion what it wants to watch on Netflix. I am telling jokes to the notion. I'm pulling out Uno cards in front of the notion and asking if the notion wants to play with me. I am entertaining the notion. Oh la la, we have another ASOS Lux item. The Curve 3D Floral V-neck Corsetted Mini Dress in Red. This is literally pink, but fine. This dress looks like it is alive. This dress looks like a living organism. This dress looks like it is growing. It looks like it is reaching out and touching. It's a little scary, I don't think. 
that I like it, but at the same time, I kind of do like it. I think the corset actually kind of disrupts it a little bit. Like, look at these big exaggerated shoulders. At this point, like, why disrupt this like very avant-garde design of these 3D florals with like a paltry attempt to give the dress a little bit more shape? We're wearing an art piece right now. Look at this. I don't need people to see that I have a waist. I need people to see that I have taste. Get rid of the corseting. Go whole hog. Make this fucking floor length, girl. Same sleeve, same shoulders, no waist, bus, club, another club, another club, another club. I love the idea here. I think the execution is a little cowardly. Make it ridiculous and impractical. Charge one million dollars for it and then burn every single one. This is a great dress to wear if when you go out at night, you're less worried about attracting potential suitors than you are about attracting butterflies and hummingbirds. Oh my God, there's been a B-movie joke staring me in the face this entire time. I mean, the joke is just, this is a dress that the girl from B-movie should wear. It's still a reference. And on my channel, references and jokes are the same thing. Hey guys, just a quick question. What was the intention here? What did we want this dress to look like? And how did it get to where it is? And how can we get it back? This is so stupid and ugly. And I'm sorry, from the back, where I don't know about this crocheted nightmare that's awaiting for me in the front, it looks fine. What and why? This looks so bad. <laughs> this, how do I word this? cottagecore DMT trip. The only situation I can really rationalize this is if like, say that this didn't have this crochet boob bra situation, right? And you're just wearing a blue ditzy floral dress out to brunch with your friends. Someone at the table near you orders one of those cocktails that they set on fire before they serve it to you. And even though I'm almost 30 years old, I still have no idea how you drink those. Every time I see them in movies, I get really confused and a little scared. Anyway, someone at the table near you has ordered one of those cocktails. So one of the servers is bringing it on a platter and all of a sudden they trip. Uh-oh, they trip on the shoelaces and the cocktail fully enflamed is tumbling through the air and the fire lands on the boobs of your dress and burns the front of your dress away. But your friend is able to dump their water on your chest before it burns anything beyond the sleeves or the waistline of your dress away. It's just the boobs that are gone. And you're like, oh my God, I'm free boobing it at brunch. It's bottomless brunch, not topless. Hold for laughter. Three, two, one. Okay. And your other friend at brunch says, wait a second, don't worry. I brought my yarn and my crochet needles with me. And your friend goes beast mode, sicko mode, X games mode. And they crochet you two little boob covers right there and then at the table before you've even fully dried off from your drenching experience. And they finish and they hold it up to your boobs and they say, give me one more second. And they pull out a needle and they pull out a thread and they stitch that little crochet boob cover to the front of your dress. And no one is the wiser, except for everybody else at the restaurant who saw a drink get poured on you and then your boobs and then a second drink get poured on you. But everyone outside is gonna be like, oh yeah, that's just a normal, really ugly dress. Not, oh my God, your boobs are out. So I can understand, I can understand, I can understand. I can't understand, I'm lying. This looks so stupid and I hate this dress and um, I've had a great time making fun of it and I hope you have too. Oh, thank goodness, everyone. No one needs to worry anymore. They found a chaperone for pickle prom. And it makes sense to me that this model's wearing sunglasses because if I had to wear this dress, I wouldn't want to see myself in full definition either. Something about gingham always makes me think of being a wannabe scene kid in 2008. How did we get here? I used to know you so well. The three colorways here give me completely distinct vibes, which I like. Like the white one, this natural cream one, is very like, loving you is easy cause you're beautiful. 
This one is peach and lime. It decorates. And this one is you've got a nine to five, so I'll take the night shift. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Well, 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 we have been here before. We're back on ASOS Lux. The curve, organza, ruffle, ruched, long sleeve, mini dress in pink. I've said this before and I'll say it again. There is such a thing as having too many design elements in one garment. I will say this until I'm blue in the face. If you've got a busy dress, especially in the shoulder area, ruffles on the sleeves, a lot of detail work, updo, updo. Please, mama. The hair just adds busyness. Tie it back, even wear it behind your back. And uh, like, I know that she's not going to an event in this dress, she's just modeling it, but like, flip it back. Cause this girl, they knew what to do with her. Cause they gave her a sleek pony so that all the detail is focused on the dress. And I like how this one looks better, I don't know. Maybe because the print, it's like so busy with the multi print that it's just like, yeah, fuck it. This is gonna be a sensory overload of a dress. But the single color, you can really see each individual design and it doesn't seem as cohesive. Like I'm looking separately at the draping in the skirt. I'm looking separately at the false boning. I'm looking separately at the defined cups in the bodice. I'm looking separately at the shoulder ruffles, at the bottom ruffle, at the sleeve ruffle. I'm, I'm looking separately at everything and it's not coming together as a cohesive outfit. See, this is like, I would say a better version of that dress because it commits to being pink and feminine and very girly, very flouncy, but it's more minimal. There's no sleeves, there's not too many ruffles, it's simpler. This dress looks like what every little girl thinks formal wear should look like. This is what I assumed every dress I had to wear for a special occasion would look like when I was five years old and also nine years old and also 15 years old and also 25 years old and also 29 years old. I love this dress. <laughs> I have been a pink loving girly girl since I came out the womb. I was assigned glamour puss at birth. I love flouncy girly things I've always have. And I think this is a very cute dress. I just love a flouncy little skirt. I love something that's gonna just like billow as I twirl because I will twirl. Now this may look like a high waist bathing suit in mixed floral and gingham print. But you know what this is really? Lingerie to wear if you ever want to try to seduce the Easter Bunny. This pale yellow floral with this pink gingham in the bow, are you kidding me? This is so Easter. In like a really ugly way, I don't like it. I hate pastel yellow so much. It's one of my least favorite colors. I do not like pale gender neutral baby's bedroom type beat yellow. I don't like it. So if you ever want to, you know, put the moves on the Easter bunny or a hot person, you know, who happens to really get turned on by the concept of a rabbit breaking into their house and leaving them candy, then show up at their house wearing just this underneath a trench coat. They will go wild. <laughs> Trust me. I'm obsessed with the fact that this is a dress designed to look like a muscle tee tucked into a like 2012 era ruched bodycon skirt. What a silly, silly article of clothing. <laughs> I would have murdered someone to buy this when I was 18. Aw, cute. She's having fun. This is the ASOS design tie front top with cap sleeve wear. Those are like incredibly normal short sleeves. Anyway, in brushed rib in bright green, right? Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. This is a great shirt to wear if you have jury duty. Wanna know why? I'll tell you why. Because if you have to go to jury duty and you really don't wanna get picked, all you have to do is engineer an accidental, quote unquote, nip slip, right? What are they gonna do if your boob pops out in the jury pool? They're gonna let you leave. And with this shirt, <laughs> You don't even have to engineer a nip slip. It's just gonna happen. In fact, you could really wear this shirt to any occasion where you think an accidental nip slip would get you out of it. A birthday party for someone you don't really like or like Christmas, uh, voting, you know? Like anytime you, the dentist, anytime you show up somewhere and you're like, I really don't wanna be here, wear this shirt. Buy the shirt, it's $8, girl. And you know, depending on the type of boobs you have, you might not even be able to wear this as a shirt. It's just gonna be nip slip as soon as you put it on. And also areola slip 
and entire boob slip. That's what would it be like if I owned the shirt. And you know, there are circumstances in which that works too. I bet you thought that these were just normal jeans. Normal, ill-fitting at the waist jeans. Guess what? You, 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 you dope. They're not, they're gender reveal jeans, actually. They're jeans you can wear to reveal they're even called dad jeans. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Dad jeans. Can you imagine just like a suburban barbecue dad and his suburban uh, kitchen wife? <laughs> what do women in the suburbs do? His suburban margarita wife? You've invited everybody you know over for a gender reveal. A bit of a weird one since I guess you as the father would already have to know the gender of the baby. Ooh, ooh, I know, I know. You don't have to know. You still have to wear the pants, but you don't have to know. When it's time to reveal the gender, whoever knows the gender of the baby will blindfold the dad and pants him in front of everybody at the party and then have him step into these jeans, pull them up, you know, do the button fly on him and have him turn around and show those cakes to everybody at his gender reveal party. And then everybody opens their eyes and it's like, oh my God, baby girl. And if you're not having a girl, don't have a party. <laughs> What's there to celebrate? Oh man, is there ever egg on my face? This was the other dress I was gonna make flotation device jokes about. And it would have made way more sense because these sleeves are bigger. I feel so silly. I went on that whole tangent about airplanes. I should have been doing it with this one. God damn. This is the ASOS design extreme shoulder open back mini dress in blue grid print. These are, this is kind of con. I like this actually. <laughs> oh, there's seven reviews. What are the girls saying? Oh. Oh, she looks nice, aw. Okay, we don't have any jokes about the dress because I already exhausted the only joke I actually had about it with the other dress, so never mind. You are free to exist another day, ASOS Design Extreme Shoulder Open Back Mini Dress in Blue Grid Print. I don't know what it is about this image. Maybe, specifically this first picture, right? Cause we can see, like, this is kind of cool with the whole outfit with the boots with the leather pants. This image where the shirt is untucked and all we can see is that she's wearing like black slacks. Maybe it's her like gentle, soft expression, the front tie of the shirt, the swirling print of it, the way it hangs and cascades over the stomach. This is giving me very 2008 mom at a at parent teacher night. She's got two sons in middle school. They eat their weight in, Totino's pizza rolls and Gatorade every single day. You know, the recession is raging. Her relationship with her husband is, no, she's divorced. And you know what? She has like a little bit of a crush on one of her son's teachers. What is a hot genre of teacher to have a crush on if you're a parent? History? I dated a history teacher once. <laughs> that didn't go well for me. So sure, let's also curse her with that. She has a crush on the one of the boys' history teachers and she knows she's gonna see him tonight. And she's like, I don't think anything's really gonna happen, but like, you never know when something's gonna happen. Something might happen. This is her, like, she's literally talking to Mr. Stevenson right now. And she's like, yeah, so like, you know, it's been pretty, pretty difficult at home since the boy's dad and I split up. We are divorced officially and legally. You know, you're his favorite teacher, actually. He talks about you all the time. Do you wanna come over for dinner <laughs> this weekend? And like, she is gonna cook the hell out of some spaghetti and meatballs for this man. She's gonna take out the fancy plates and Brandon and Miguel are gonna be like, mommy, why are we taking out the fancy plates? We never use these. And she's like, go to your room, go to your room right now. And they're like, what about dinner? She's like, I will bring you up a plate each. Go to your room. You know what, extra Xbox time tonight. How about that? And they're like, oh my God, sick. You're the best mom. And she brings them up some spaghetti with meatballs before he comes over. And when he comes up, oh my God, I can envision it all now. <laughs> it's all coming together in front of me. I hope they work out together. I don't know the end of the story, you guys. That's for you to decide. I hope it works. I hope she can finagle something out of it. And I haven't revealed if he's married or not. We actually don't even know. All we know is that she's divorced. The story has not been written yet. The rest is still on which on. He's not married. He's divorced too. Anyway, this is the ASOS design maxi dress with bat wing sleeve and wrap waist in green satin. A dramatic piece to be sure. Absolutely a statement. What a beautiful color this is. And it comes in all these other colors. We have mustard, wow, black, wow, teal. I wouldn't call this teal. Soft rust, 
which is just a gross phrase. This model looks a little bit like Mandy Moore from a distance, but we're not here to talk about any of those. We are here to talk about the fact that when I first saw this image, my first and pretty much only thought was this. Finally, a dress with which I can serve cunt in a Hippocratic oath honoring way. Because how the f- <laughs> This is the same thing. Are you joking? I literally feel like if I bought this dress in green, I could walk into a hospital and nobody would stop me. Cause you know how surgeons wear their surgeon's gowns outside of the hospital and they're wearing it as they walk in? You know, how surgeons wear. I love this little pose he's in. <laughs> Never mind, he's already serving cunt in a Hippocratic Oath honoring way. Oh my God. Oh, he's a veterinarian. I have to log in for pricing. Why can't I just buy this? What if I want a surgical gown? Aww. Aww. Oh. Horses are crazy. <laughs> I want to know how much this stuff costs. Should I make an account? It's a whole process. Oh my God, never mind. in 20 plus cards. Going out the day. What's that really shiny horse? Not these. Overcoming separation anxiety in horses. Aw. Horses are so smart. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Beautiful. Wow. What's the ones, what are the horses that look like they have bell bottoms on? Is it Shetland ponies? No, it's not. Aw. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. That's the bell-bottom horse. <laughs> I love when horses have these little ponytails. <laughs> it looks so funny. Horses are so large. Anyway, how did we even get here? Oh, because surgical gown, veterinary technology, horse stuff, horses, more horses, still more horses. It's time for the horses to come back to the stable because I want to be done filming so I can go um, be horizontal for a while. Thank you so much for watching this video, but before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could have an amazing day for me, that would be equine a view. If you would like to follow me on websites where I am more active, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok at Nisi Pisa or Tumblr at it's a secret. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to use code NISIPISA for 10% off at checkout at your local veterinary supply store. Bye. When I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a shine. Give me baby, oh my. Have you left yet? It's not in